So moving from uh, the the models to, in a sense, the the outcomes from the models, and uh, looking first at um, system evaluation criteria uh, or system criteria, design criteria, uh, and uh, the the original, which I have already mentioned. Um, the Trusted Computer System Evaluation Criteria, otherwise known as TCSEC, otherwise known as the Orange Book. And uh, again, this is uh, a, uh, an outcome uh, from the Bell LaPagula model. Um, and uh, it was uh, used by uh, the American military. Uh, it was used by the American government uh, as a standard. Um, it, uh, uh, it was then, you know, more widely uh, used. Uh, and uh, it became an, <clears throat> an initial uh, standard uh, that people could use in terms of security um, for a, a system, for a computer system. Uh, the, uh, the system evaluation criteria, and of course we have the different um, uh, different levels, um, uh, A at the top, uh, B, C, and D, and, and the D, um, which uh, yeah, a lot of people would would assume was uh, insecure. Um, really, actually, only meant it, it was untested. Um, so uh, the uh, C levels um, were uh, related to discretionary access control that we have already discussed. Uh, the B levels to uh, mandatory access control and the A and, and really there was only the A1 level uh, which was uh, formally verified um, a uh, an evaluation uh, as a system that uh, the design of which had been formally verified um, and was sort of provably uh, secure and uh, there were uh, there were a couple Multics. Um, I'm I'm not sure whether Multics actually ever passed. Um, uh, there were uh, certain aspects of of Multics, and I think uh, uh, you know people lost interest in in it, uh, which was unfortunate. I mean, it was a lovely lovely design, um, and uh, with a little bit more work, um, uh, people are pretty sure that it would have passed. Uh, the A1 uh, certification, the uh, uh, the SCOMP, uh, uh, which uh, a communications uh, device more more than a computer, but you know a computer uh, by any other name uh, was uh, was in fact uh, did receive uh, the A1 certification. So uh, you know there are uh, systems in the world that have passed the A1 certification. Uh, various uh, uh, ones going after uh, the other levels of certification. Uh, Windows, at one point, um, did pass uh, the C2 level. Uh, and it's, it's very interesting to look at um, Windows and uh, Microsoft pursuing that certification um, getting the certification for the C2 rating um, and uh, the system that passed I believe was uh, Windows NT uh, 3.51 uh, and it was Windows NT 3.51 server uh, which is really interesting because it passed as long as you didn't connect it to a network. And so you have a system intended to be a server, 
but of course you can't use it as a server because you can't connect it to a network. So, you know, it's, it's really interesting. You, when people say that they have received a certification, um, you need to know uh, what that certification actually means. Uh, and we've got some, uh, uh, some more uh, when we get into the common criteria next. But anyways, um, at TCSEC, again, you know, we're talking about confidentiality. We're limited to confidentiality. That's all that uh, is going on there. Now, um, ITSEC, uh, I don't know whether do I certainly learned some lessons from TCSEC. For one thing, ITSEC um, uh, extended into the integrity area and started to talk about integrity. So there's a, a fundamental uh, difference in uh, what we're talking about, what the functions are of security um, with regard to uh, ITSEC. Um, there is also the fact that uh, ITSEC um, had input from other governments. Um, the, uh, the TCSEC had been a uh, you know, totally American uh, product, and ITSEC um, used not only the lessons, uh, the additional lessons of the technology as it's developing and as the, the field of information security is developing, but also uh, uh, having a, a broader range of input from uh, different jurisdictions and venues. So, uh, uh, ITSEC, uh, you know, a, a development along that line. And, and we will then turn uh, to the common criteria in the next clip and, and start. Uh, actually, it's going to take a few uh, clips to, to go through all the, uh, the points of the common criteria. Uh, but that's uh, sort of where we, we currently are with regard to security evaluation criteria.